Okay, in this video recording, I will uh, go further into the topics uh, biomimetic. Okay, but before we go into details for uh, biomimetic, uh, let me show you uh, another term. So it's biomaterials. Okay, so biomaterials uh, defined by their functions, uh, they interact with and replace the function of certain host tissues so they must possess the right property to optimize their purpose okay so a biomaterial is a material designed to interact with the biological substance and environment okay? so that's biomaterials a little bit different with biomimetic but they have a common uh, similarity okay? uh, and then after we get uh, know the get to know the biomaterial uh, what is the mechanism if you are using biomaterial inside your body let me go through so this is the mechanism so from the injury or uh, implantations so imagine you have them um, injured okay inside your body first there will be uh, inflammations uh, because of the response from your body so this is the inflammation process up until you uh, form the uh, fibrous uh, capsule and the in the biomaterial uh, all the response it will uh, coincide and uh, forming the we call it foreign body giant cell or this is uh, FPG and it's all the terms for the uh, response from our body. Uh, let me show you uh, some idea from here. Okay. Uh, I suggest for you to. Uh, view this video okay in the uh, in the presentation files okay so so I will skip so this is some implants so this is the defensive system in our body our immune system so yeah this is our immune system if any object happen and this is the giant cell that uh, presented before okay so i will, I will skip all this uh, video so i hope you view those video so uh, all these terms uh, explained uh, in a simple way in that video so yeah you don't need to remember all these uh, terms actually what you need to know that uh, inside your body you can have uh, immune or uh, response from your immune system if any hostile or any objects uh, place inside your body so the more the objects becomes uh, compatible with your body, the more the immune system will receive or accepting the uh, implant. That's when we call the device or the implant uh, biocompatible. Let's go back to the very beginning. So that's a little bit um, uh, intermezzo. Okay, for the uh, biomaterials because we might see some biomaterials functions in the biomimetic okay so biomimetic we now um, try to explore more okay so it is designed okay to replicate one or more attributes okay, of a material produced by a living organism so the key is replications okay. let's go for the intro 
So this is the uh, official definition, let's say, uh, defined as the sustainable innovation technology that mimics and applies nature's, nature's structures and functions. Okay. And of course, it's multidisciplinary engineering, uh, technology, and biology. And this is some uh, list for all of the uh, multidisciplinary uh, engineering. So forming, okay, we can observe the structure, the function, mechanism, and uh, of course the biological process from this multidisciplinary engineering. Okay. And then we also learn, or we may heard some terms, uh, biomimicry, biomimetic, bionic, bioinspirations. All of this is actually uh, similar in some way, uh, but the difference is in the interpretations. Okay, biomimicry is uh, we mimic the all the things that we observe from nature. It doesn't always about the product or the materials itself. It also can be the process we call biomimicry. But for uh, biomimetic, uh, it's somewhat um, exclusive to the materials or product. And bio bionic is uh, uh, biology and electronic. Okay, uh, what we can uh, relate fr from those two. And by inspiration is more uh, general, okay. But all of this uh, have a common, okay, a common things, okay. So regardless of the name, many researcher uh, expand the technology development through uh, mirroring the concept from nature, from ecological system, from ecosystem. That's the terms in uh, maybe you will hurt okay, in the future and then we go for uh, characteristic okay so the characteristic for biomimetic actually has the same characteristic with uh, biomaterials which is the to restore natural function okay uh, where the original material is absent or unable to perform okay and then to sustain an environment, okay. So to make or to optimize the cell culture, uh, tissue growth, uh, biomolecular assays, and biotechnology-based manufacturing, okay. So this is to optimize the environment actually. Is so that the characteristic? Uh, and the next will be the natural materials. Um, so what we call natural material is uh, that the materials directly came from nature okay so if we recognize that the functional materials produced by a living organisms in uh, directly okay uh, uh, it is by nature biocompatible right so if this natural material uh, they can perform better uh, compared with the existing synthetic counterpart then we can consider the natural material as a uh, replacement for the synthetic one okay so yeah the key is to learn from nature yeah characteristic natural material and then uh, classification and application area. So, um, so there will be a link between biology, ecology, and technology. Okay, let's see the figure so we can see all of the uh, process okay, or the, uh, uh, the the table. So this is the functional groups in biology and ecology. This is the engineering fields. This is what the industry might be. Okay. So from the biology or ecology we can observe shape form color uh, like the organ tissues a uh, body uh, surface uh, we can go for the structural material so we observe the shape form color and then try to replicate and 
learn how to process that shape, form, or color. And behavior, it can be force, motion, reflection. You can say it is also structure, but also you can learn uh, the operation control and also the sensor. Okay. And metabolism, uh, like respiration, energy, photosynthesis, uh, growth. Okay. It, co oh, it can go for the operation or process too. And sensory and perception, okay. it go for the sensor, process, operation control, uh, defense, you go for process, also for sensor, and uh, ecological process, it is go for process system and process tool. But this is in a broad or in a really, really general uh, knowledge, so, so it is all uh, knowledge that you can learn from nature, from biology and ecology, but in the future we will maybe focus on maybe shape, form, color, and also the sensory perception, and maybe metabolism. Okay, these three we will uh, maybe focus on in the future, or maybe this behavior also, but it's not really uh, uh, in detail. Okay, but maybe shape form color metabolism and sensory and perception that's uh, some fields or functional groups that uh, develop well in material science okay, especially for uh, smart material and this is the industrial field it can be the chemical material architecture rubber water treatment fab fabric construction computer electronics and etc Let's go back, uh, and then we go for some video here. Um, it's it's about the extreme biomimetics, so you can uh, expand uh, the biomimetics into um, really really uh, material that have uh, multifunctionality more than one functions. So this is to show the uh, to show the um, the color, okay, how they uh, uh, obtain the uh, dynamic color from uh, nature uh, and how it can uh, utilize the utilize the like the dynamic color okay um, react with the external stimuli which is the acid and it will appearing you can program the this structure and this is the self assembly for uh, uh, particle trapping and we can also release the particle it depends on our use it can um, trap the uh, maybe some molecules that uh, dangerous or yeah And this is what she's uh, explaining. It's called the slippery liquid infused porous surface. So she designed this uh, surface. Um, it is slippery surface. Uh, it's pressure stable, energy saving, repairable, fall resistant, which means um, it's uh, resistance for the uh, to f when you filter the particle easy to manufacture, cost effective and transparent so 
so please watch this video and uh, I hope you get some inspiration from this video yeah it's really really slip okay So that's all for the uh, extreme biomimetics. Um, I hope you get some inspiration. Please watch the video. Uh, if you have watched, maybe you can watch to relearn something new from that video. Okay, and uh, I think this is the end of the video recording. Uh, I'm sorry for the late recording uh, because. Uh, there are some troubles in previous uh, files before when I try to record so I now uh, record one more time okay so uh, see you on the next video okay uh, bye bye